I've got to I've got to tell you, Joel, I'm I'm worried. Um, this is one of five wetlands on this square mile, and you can see it's had cattail in it every year since I've been driving by it every day. My house is just down the road, and and this is the first time I've ever seen it bone dry in the spring. We need a heck of a lot of rain if this thing's going to have any water in it. And there, there are five more uh, on this section, total of five, I mean, and they're all dry. I've never seen that. Last year we had ducks in here galore. We had probably 25 pairs of ducks on this section spread out in the five seasonal wetlands, and it's bone dry. And driving across North Dakota, you see the same thing everywhere. We've got a really dry situation here. South Dakota, Saskatchewan, Manitoba. So it looks grim. Um, we really need water. Water is essential for three parts of, of you know, duck production. First and most important, we need water to spread ducks out. They settle. We're not going to have any ducks settle here or on any of the other wetlands in this, on this section unless we get a whole lot of rain. Um, and the other reason we need water is, is water is good for re-nesting. So, you know, we have fairly poor nest success in much of the prairies and without lots of re-nesting, ducks don't produce very much. And finally, brood survival. Uh, that's the third thing that's essential. Every study of broods for survival has shown that with more water, you get higher duckling survival. When we have very low water, duckling survival is real poor, so yeah. It's looking scary. It is, yeah, and, and you pointed out, Frank, you know, our background, you'll see cattails. Yeah. And so this is a wetland that's here consistently to have that, you know, vegetative yep. growth of cattails and other aquatics. So it's it's definitely, don't be confused by the, the Canada geese that you hear in the background, or maybe you can see the Missouri River is just on the other side of these trees. So it's, you know, definitely, um, the river's doing great, but obviously you're looking out at the prairies here, it's pretty dry. And, and the no snow means we're getting early migration. We've got cacklers. We saw white fronts this morning and, and snow. So, so we've got geese passing through. We really need moisture. Uh, the good news for you, uh, the bad news is we may not have a good fall flight with a lot of young ducks. Um, the good news is regulations are set a uh, uh, year in advance. So right. we're still running off the last duck count, which was ironically back in 2019 because COVID uh, eliminated the count. So we have a high breeding population that we're basing seasons on. So we're not going to see a change in seasons. We just might not have the fall flight that we'd like to see. Right. So where do they go, Frank? We, we uh, the ducks go north. And so if the prairies are dry, the parklands get more ducks, but even the parklands are dry. The parklands in Manitoba and Saskatchewan are remarkably dry. And so They'll go even farther north, and many of them don't breed. Now, some ducks overfly the prairies and go to the Arctic, but that's that's uncommon. That's a pintails, and and they never have the breeding success up there that they have on the prairies. So, yeah. So it's not a good thing when the ducks are concentrated on the few wetlands that remain. Yeah. Just so. this morning, I looked at the you know the 14-day forecast for Edmonton, Alberta, Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, Winnipeg, Manitoba, and here in Bismarck, and it's. The same trend, just yeah. really pretty much warm and dry yeah. for the next two weeks. Frank, there is a silver lining to this. It's not much of a consolation prize, but drought is important in the whole cycle. Can you quickly hit that one? It, you know, when a pond like this dries out and if it stays dry, uh, you'll have breakdown of all the organics that have accumulated. So when it gets wet, like we hope next year, well, I hope this year, but but when it gets wet again, we get this burst of productivity. So it's good for wetlands to dry out occasionally, but but it's not good for duck production in that year. But the following year, we've seen higher duck production after a drought. So Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks, Frank. That was a really good overview. So everyone watching this or listening to this, you know, if conditions change, or let's say, let's look optimistically and say as they change, we'll jump back on and give everyone an update. We'll let you know how things are going. Yeah. Sounds good? Good. Thank you, Frank.